before I tell my story, I need to get me an Americano. Oh yeah. good stuff so today I'm gonna tell the story on how I met NF before he was famous this is like 2015 but well, basically I was a freshman I, I wasn't even producing at this time this is like way before I was producing I was just being like a trash rapper in like 2015 so at the time, NF hadn't released his first album. He had just signed with Capitol, and all he had was an EP that Mansions was about to come out. And so they had given, oh, well, backtracking. I was at Chereka Nazarene University, freshman there. I got an internship at Rocket Town, which is like a little music venue in Nashville where they do like Christian concerts and stuff. Um, so they had like in the studio, they had like a stack of CDs. It was like legit, like a big stack of CDs. And it was just like paper, like the little cardboard CD cases of NF's first EP that they recorded on Capitol, which a bunch of the songs ended up being on mansions. Like, Wake Up was on there, and a uh, bunch of songs. So, I was interning at Rocket Town, and they also had, like, a little studio at Rocket Town, and that's where they had all these CDs. So, I would, like, intern there and help run their studio, do, like, some recording for artists that would come through, etc., and, uh... Then every once in a while, they would have, like, an event, or they would have, like, a music video being shot or something. Random stuff would happen. One time, I remember they said Lil Wayne showed up at, like, 3 a.m. just to skate, because it was, like, also, like, a little skate park, and he showed up just to skate because he had a concert in the area, and I was so upset that my phone was on silent, because I had people, like, calling me, telling me, bro, Lil Wayne's at the at the skate park outside. Anyways, unrelated, but, um, so they had a music video being shot for a song that was Derek Minor and Tony Tillman called No Lie. Been killed, not made, not an always, no and they needed an extra to be there and to um, help set up the music video stuff and all that, so. They called me and they were like, do you want to show up and maybe do a cameo in the music video and just help set up and stuff? Okay, so if you haven't listened to Derek Miner's music before, like, I'll just put a little snippet right here, but you gotta go peep his music. He's been around like forever and making dope music for years. Hey, hey, if you're funny, don't approach me. I keep running around me, only trusting God and him, only him. So get on that. And then also Tony Tillman. Uh, he hasn't been as active recently, but like, go peep the music. It's dope. I got so high. Boy, had dope ties, talk both vibes, and that's real life. Real life. My real life and my old crimes. My new life is like gold mines, but I still remember them old times. So I showed up to the music video shoot. I'm helping set up. Will's the only one there, and he's helping, like, he's the director of the video. So what we're doing is just setting up like black tarp everywhere and LED lights and stuff, making it look really cool. And then Doc Watson shows up. I I meet him for like a second, like we shake hands. And then he's like, hey man, you need a hat. And I'm like, what? And then Doc just puts, he takes off his hat and puts it on me. And he's just like, here you go. And he just gave me, like, an RMG hat. And so that was my first time meeting him, which later became an internship. But, so, I'm at the music video shoot. Hanging out with Derek and Tony. I'm actually in the music video. Like, I'll put a little snippet of that. Um, 
anyways, so we're hanging out, doing the music video shoot, and then Derek is like, isn't there a concert going on tonight? And I was like, yeah, actually, uh, it's this new guy, NF. And he's like, oh, yeah, I know him. And then he's like, I haven't seen him in a minute. And I was like, oh, well, I mean, I'm sure they're doing sound check over there right now. So he's like, do you like NF? And I was like, yeah, I do. Uh, he only had like an EP and then a previous album under a different name. And I remember Derek saying, I'm going to make a white kid's dream come true. And I was just busting out laughing. Uh, so then we walk over, we start walking towards the um, where the concert is, which is like in a different building. And I actually have a video of that too, so I'll put that right here. Um, so then we're walking over there. I get like a little video for Instagram. And then we get to the vet, the other building and like we go up to the door and the guy is like, I can't let you in. It's like the, some security guy from Capitol. He's like, I can't let you in. And then Derek is like, I'm Derek Miner. And they're like, okay. So then, <laughs> so then they just let him in. And so we're, we go in and NF is doing a sound check at the time. We're the only other people there. There's like us, two guys in suits from Capitol who are like walking around, like talking to people from the venue, being like, oh, how many people can we fit? Oh, okay. What's the, how late can the concert go? And etc. Um, so then I find out that it's actually the release party for Mansions. Like the album comes out in like a week and it's like the release party for it. So I'm just standing there watching NF do his sound check. Me and Derek standing there in this big open venue. NF's like, he, he hops off the stage, kind of like walks around to see how it sounds. After his sound check, he came over, talked to Derek for a few minutes, and they just talked about music and unreleased songs with people that I won't name. After that, I basically just asked if I could get a picture with him, and he's like, yeah, man. So we got a picture, and I'll put that right here. That was basically it. After that, I went back to the music video shoot, and I I didn't end up going to the concert. And then a year later, I went to a concert he did at a big venue in Nashville, and it was sold out. So it was pretty dope to uh, link up and meet new people and do something different, you know? That's right.